So we're gonna stand at the end of our mat. Can y'all see me okay? Okay, roll those shoulders up, back and down. Soften up the knees, tuck your pelvis in just a little bit and we're just gonna hinge at the waist all the way down to the mat. And we're gonna walk it out into that plank position. You can drop to the knees for those two push-ups right here, down and up. You can be on the knees, no problem, down and up. And then we're gonna walk it back. This time, slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae. And at the top, give me a big inhale. Just inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, pushing your fan back as you roll down and walk it out. Same thing again, give me nice push-ups. And walk it back. And again, slowly rolling up. All right, and here's where we're going to do our little balance challenge. So I want you to adjust your feet if you need to. Pick your right foot up. You can have your toe on the floor or pick it completely up. And you're going to reach for the floor with that foot elevated. If you can, if not, you can keep both feet on the floor. And we're going to that push-up position, and you're going to keep that foot lifted and give me three mini push-ups. So halfway down and up. And then you're going to walk it right back. Try to hold that balance, keeping that foot up the whole time. Big inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, drop it down. Same thing, guys. Walk it out, three mini push-ups, and walk it back. Inhale, reach for the sky. Try to keep that foot on the ground. Really testing our balance and working that core. Back down for our last one on the side. And this time when you roll it up, let's keep that foot elevated. I want you to try and re bring that knee up. Level with your hip. All right, we're going to reach up and down. You're not going to touch that to the ground, but you're going to take it down to right before it touches the ground. Okay, three, so you're just raising the roof, two, and one. Good, drop that foot, give me a march. Just get everything back where it needs to be. You should have felt some pressure and tenderness in your calves and shins and all the time to hold your balance. Give me a big inhale, roll the shoulders. <sighs> Drop it down, shift all your weight to that other leg now. Elevate the heel or lift the foot completely and let's roll it down. Take it out into that plank. And this time give me three tricep push-ups. So you're gonna let the elbows stay close to the body instead of letting them flare out like you normally do. Bring it back up and work that balance. Ooh, I had to touch my toe down. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Same thing. Three mini push-ups. You can go to the knee if you need to. Absolutely go to the knee. And give me those little three mini steps. And backing up. Nice and slow control. Hope y'all are holding your balance better than me. Big inhale, reach up. Exhale, roll down. Walk out, last one, three minis. Y'all, I wanna see you. So I'm gonna flip over to machine. Good, walk it back up, holding that nice balance. Looking good, y'all. Lauren, I swear, you like in a basement. It's so dark in there, don't be scared. We're right here with you. All right, guys, holding that foot up, holding that foot up, let's raise the roof. And I want you to blow that right, right here. Working on that balance, getting that quiet. Oh, now I see you, Lauren. Last one right there. Hold it. Put those little tootsies together. I'm going to come more centered to you now. Put those little tootsies together. We're going to go into that ear pose. All the weight is in your heels. All right. And we're going to take those arms and reach them out from our shoulders. I want you to set that left shoulder back, so pull back on that left shoulder. 
Take that right arm, give me big circles right here. And hold it front, shift that right shoulder back, and left arm goes back for three. Good, bring me those prayer hands back. Sit that weight into your heels and give me that little pulse. We're gonna add on this week. You know, each week we progress in certain exercises a little bit, and this is when we're working today. You have eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Now I want you to slowly bring it up. We're gonna take our right knee up. We're just gonna take it back, touch it back, and bring it up like a running man. So those arms are like you're running. Back and up. So we're progressing, gonna get a little more quad work in this week. Y'all didn't get enough leg work yesterday. Last two. Last one, hold it up here for me, hold it here. And I want you to slowly put it back down, right side out of the foot, prayer hands, drop into that chair again. Beautiful, y'all. Now give me that little pulse. Very good. Keep it going. Four, seven. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up. And now that left leg comes up. And we're doing that running man. Tap it back to the back and bring it up. And what it looks like from the side up and back. So you're blowing all that breath out as you bring that knee up. Good. Give me two more. And one more, drop it down. Prayer pulse right here. Pulsing. Good, y'all keep that chest up as much as you can. All right, and now hold it. Drop a little lower if you can and take flight. Arms go back. Beautiful, y'all. So you want your neck and spine, I know you're looking at me, but as we're holding this, try not to be up here. Try and keep that neck and spine in a nice little line, stare at the spot on the floor. Okay, hands back to prayer. Weight is in the heel, push into the heel all the way up and march it out. Right to the end of that mat, we're gonna walk out into that plank position again. You can go down to the knees. Go ahead and de-rope, girl. Take it off, take it all off. All right. Y'all don't know who I'm talking to, but she does. <laughs> Roll it back. Walk it out into plank for me. We're going to do those nice slow knee to shoulder. So we're going right knee to right shoulder or right elbow right here. And then switching it up nice and slow. You can be on your knees right here, just like this. And let's do a few more. Two. And you can keep it here, or if you're on your toes, let's go ahead and make that fast for four, three, two, one. Good, and hold it slow. Four, three, two, one. Now quick for four. And hold it, nice slow. Right elbow, right knee. Last set, here we go, four. Good, hold it, walk it up. Walk it up, slowly roll it up. Roll those shoulders back. You can stay right where you are, your wrists around a little bit if you need to. We're going back into that chair pose. Prayer hands. And we're pulsing that chair pose. Nice little pulse. Y'all look thinking good. Don't stop. Keep it going. Eight. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And bring it up nice and slow. Take those feet nice and wide. We're going to go into that plie. I'm going to say hey to Sheen. What's up, Shannon and Kitty Cat? All right. So we're going to that nice plie. Toes are pointed out to the corners, tuck your tail under, tilt that tail forward, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Now lift your big toe, both big toes. You probably have more than one. 
All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to take it down and up, just getting our position right for the first couple. And then we're going to add on as you go down. I want you to think about getting that tail tucked, that chest is up high and proud, getting those inner thrusts. Four more like this. Three, two, it's hot in this room. One, good. Keep it down for me. Keep on retuck the tail. Lift your right heel off the ground. Can y'all see mine? I hope you can see mine. And we're going to go down and up. And we're going to keep that heel lifted. Keep that right heel lifted. And we're going down and up. You can put your hand up wherever you're super comfy. <laughs> keep your hands where it feels best to you. And I want you to keep your tail tucked. Don't let this knee go over the toe. You're going to do this to push that toe. Try and go straight down. Hold it on this last one. Hold it. Tuck that tail and give me a little pause right there. You should feel a good burn in the inner thigh of that foot that's at. Breathe, y'all. Four, three, two. Hold down. Drop that heel. Elevate the other one. Down and up or up and down. You did your good side first. You're probably losing your balance a little bit on this side. Keep that tail tucked. Don't make me make you turn your fannies to the camera, y'all, so I see. Tuck that tail. Oh, my knee just popped. That felt kind of good. Keep it going. Last two. Hold it down for me and pulse right there. Good. Y'all feeling it? You feel it in that leg? Good, hold it, draw the heel, tuck that heel back under, pull that belly in, lift both heels for me, up and down. If you can't keep both heels elevated, take turns, do one, and then the other. But try and test balance, as long as you don't have really weak ankles, test that balance and let's do it, y'all. Come on, we should be feeling those thighs big time now. 50 zillion more, or four. Tuck your tail, three, two, y'all know what's up, hold it at the bottom, oh, give me that little pulse last time on these, oh. come on, we have eight and the seven and the six, four, three, two, cut it out, bring it up, kick it out, I know, girl, I see you, shut up, shut those legs out, we got our plank walk, this time we're going to do the Cross the body in our position nice and slow, so in the opposite elbow. But roll those shoulders back at the your mat. I feel like I'm in a spot where y'all can't really see me. Roll those shoulders back. Take it out into that plank, either on the knees or on your tootsies. All right, guys, and we're going to take it across the body. Blowing that breath out as you hold that knee to elbow. Four, three, two. One, now get quick. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Slow it down. We're progressing on this one. So just a couple of more than normal. Four, three, two. Beautiful, y'all. Now quick for eight. Let's do it. Eight, seven, four, two. Hold it nice and slow, last set. Don't drop your head, look out in front of you. Four more, four more. Two, and quick for eight. Four, three, two, one. Press it back into child pose. Take that second, roll those little wrists, y'all, if you need to, roll the wrists. We missed a lot of time, y'all. We may skip our 100s for today. Because we're good and warm anyway. All right, guys. We're going to work on that bird dog. You can do bird dog from the tabletop position just like this. Extending arms and legs. Or we're going to also try it in the plank position. Okay? I <laughs> see so your puppy, too. Mine's <laughs> up there asleep. All right. 
So either a plank or tabletop, or wrists are under shoulders, knees under hips. Here we go, guys. Everything's nice and tight, belly pulled in. Go ahead and lift that right hand. If you're in tabletop, you're right here. Okay, if you're in plank, you're right here. Switch it up to the left. Good, y'all. Try not to tilt your body open. Just keep it close to the chest facing floor. Release that. Lift that right foot. Push back in your left heel. That'll help you keep your balance. Push back into that left heel. And switch. Other foot comes up. If you're in bird dog, nobody is. I just looked up, unless Robin is. I can't see her, but I don't think so. All right, we're in that plank position. Right hand. Left foot. And switch it up. This is your last one, guys. Switch it up. Because you can't lift both hands and both feet from this position. So hold that pose. Four, three, two, one. Release it. Flip it over onto your little fannies and roll your little wrists up. Back to your eight. Sorry, it's time. Oh. Sorry, guys. I forgot my dog was trapped up here and it's dinner time for him. All right, guys. We're going to go into dead bug. So we're all going to be laying on our backs. We're going to have those knees in that tabletop position for now. Arms are straight up out of the shoulders. Now you can keep your knees here or extend those legs nice and long, but you've still got soft legs like a bad bug. Okay, so let's drop both arms, go back, get both arms over the head. Good. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of something to say now. All right, both just take that right leg down. Oh, Shannon moved, dang it. <laughs> her cat was strategically placed right at her fanny. Bring that foot up. Other leg goes down. Yeah, that's it. Keep it. Other leg goes down. Silly cat not cooperating. I'll get her again in a minute. All right, guys. Right arm, left leg. Pull your belly button back in. It's pooched out. And I want you to tilt your pelvis up so that your back is flat on the floor. So you're not doing that where you have this gap. Okay? Bring them both up. Other arm, other leg, opposite arm and leg, left and right, left arm, right leg. Y'all probably already know that, but just in case. Again, belly pulled in, tail tucked, so back stays flat. Bring it up. All right, right arm, right leg. Both, both go back. Starting to feel some shaking a little bit now. Bring it up. Lefty, lefty. Bring that left side. Drop that left leg and that left arm and hold it. Hold it down there. Okay, bring it up. Both legs, guys. Both legs go down as far as you can take them without letting your back come up off the floor. All right, if you can get six inches from the ground, great. I want you to think about pulling your little fanny cheeks together, pulling your belly button in, and keeping your back flat. All right, now can you drop your arms behind you? Bring them all the way back up. Grab those knees, pull them into your chest, give it a gentle rock side to sit. You are gorgeous. You're gorgeous people. If I just had one more, I'd have you all five on my screen, all five of us at the same time. Y'all, Shannon's cat, just so I'm going to show y'all what the cat was doing. Shannon was like this, and her cat was right there, sitting right at her fanny. Perfect. <laughs> now y'all just got a fanny shot from me. That wasn't my intention. I didn't have a cat though. All right, lay it down, hands behind the head. All right, I want your chin off your chest. Once you know the move, you can even close your eyes. I want you to think about pulling your breastbone to your hip bone, so your accordion right there, so you're not jerking up on the head. And here we go, we're just gonna do a nice little lift and lower. In a second, we're gonna change that whole game and make it a chest curl, which means you're gonna round it up. But right now, I want you just thinking about pulling breastbone to hip bone. Loving that breath out. 
In through the nose, out through the mouth. And give me three more, guys. I'm checking you out. Beautiful, 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 Lauren. Keep it up. Hold it up on this last one. Hold it up. And release it back down. All right, guys. Same concept, except for this time. I want you to think about just curling your chest up and down. So curling the chest up and down. So this time you are actually dropping your chin and looking at your belly button. And it's more of a move from the upper abs instead of full on the sides. And let's do three, two, good. Last one. That should give you some good work on those, those abs. Now we're laying on our backs. Hands are under your little tushies. One leg, leg is extended nice and long. Let's just say left so we're all on the same page. Right leg is straight up, foot is relaxed. All right, and we're gonna draw those big circles crossing the center line of the body, then out and around. So drawing those big circles. Still belly buttons pulled in nice and tight. Good, two more. Hold it at the top and reverse that circle, other direction. The big old circle, as big as you can make it. I see you texting, girl. Last one, make sure she's not texting me. Y'all tell me she can't hear me or something. All right, guys, same leg. I want you to take it down to about 45 degrees. All right, and we're going to draw that beach ball circle. All right, so hands are still under the tush. Your other leg is extended nice, 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 45 degrees. And you should be feeling that in your quad right there. Nice little quad work. And hold at the top and switch the direction of that circle. Three, two, one, drop the leg as low as you can drop it, hopefully two to three inches off the floor, and we're drawing that softball size circle. Drawing that nice softball. Nice, y'all. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Hold it at the top. Reverse that little softball circle. and release that leg or pull it in, give it a little smack around, give that quad a little smack. You should feel some soreness from yesterday if you did yesterday's pass. And release that little tootsie out nice and long. Other leg comes up and we're drawing that big circle. Sorry, sorry, Max. Last two. Last one. Hold at the top and reverse that circle. Very good. Give me three more. Last two, last one, and take that foot down to about 45. Reset that belly button into the spine, draw your beach ball. Good, good, good. Oh, it's so sinking good, keep it going. And reverse that motion. I have my head up looking at y'all, but you can keep yours relaxed. Plus two, last one, drop it to right above that floor. As far as your fanny, you'll let it go down. Draw your little softball. Good. 
and hold it and reverse it. And let it go. Smack it around a little bit if you need to. We did more of those this time this week than we've done before. Because we did 10 on each round instead of 10, 8, and 6. Okay. I don't know if you felt the difference, but we did more of them. All right. Our next move, guys, is our reverse plank, which is where we're going to be wrists under shoulders. We're going to press up. But you can press up from the tabletop position right here if you want. Or you're going to have those feet up nice and long, and you're going to press up into that tabletop. Okay? We're going to hold it for 15 seconds. This week, we're going to do two sets of those, one at the beginning one at the very end. We have been only doing one with the leg lifts. All right? So line up how you want to get. 15 seconds. Let's do it. Push up. Drop your head back, look up at the ceiling. Don't drop it, keep that neck and spine in a line and hold it, really press the hips towards the ceiling. You got it, keep it going, I'm gonna look at our time. Three, two, one, release it, roll it out, roll it out. Reverse plank is a booger. I don't care how strong you are, those are just a booger. All right, so this time we're going to go back into our reverse plank. I'm just going to do heads up. You can do as fast or slow as you want it. We're going to do eight legs. One equals one, so four each leg. So let's go ahead and press it up. Lift those little fannies. All right, and we're going to lift and lift. Try to keep your hips up. You don't want to drop down as you lift. Try not to let your fanny drop down. Let's do four more. Three, two, one. Give yourself that break on the wrists. Ooh, I see you, Robin. <laughs> They're a booger. I'm telling you, these are a booger. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've got one more 15-second hold. This is where we're progressing this week. We're getting stronger each week. And here we go in three, two, press it up. Come on, 15 seconds. Breathe in and out. Press those hips up as high as you can get them. Hold it. Pull your little fanny cheeks together. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one, drop it down. Bring it all the way to the floor. Pull those knees into your belly. And now extend that left leg out nice and long. Pull that right knee into this, into your chest for a two count. One, two, and switch. One, two. So doing those single leg stretches. Bent leg right now. So inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And you're looking at your little belly. Last set like this. Same thing but straight. One, two, one, two. Grab them behind the calf or behind the thigh. Just don't pull behind the knee. Let's do three more, two more. Last one each side. And now both knees come in. You're bringing your head towards your knees, like you're going to smooch your knee. And then I want you to extend everything out into a big star or an X. So legs go in a V, arms go in a V, right? Pull it all back in, inhale. Exhale, extend everything. Good, inhale, pull it in. Exhale, extend. Good, couple more. Last one, hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let it go. Let it drop. One of those crisscrosses now, y'all. So opposite elbow to knee, just like this. We're going nice and slow, nothing quick, not yet. Wisting, that waistline. A lot of super good core work coming up in the next two moves. Three moves, four moves. And let's pick up that tempo for eight, seven, six. And hold it, hold it. Good. Switch it up nice and slow again. Nice and slow. 
and whatever side you just held it on, hold it on the opposite side now. Switch it up if you need to. You held it on the right, hold it on the left. And let's pick up that tempo quick for eight, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Progressing this week, y'all ready? Here we go. Legs are straight. So we're gonna twist to the straight leg. Nice scissor legs, twisting nice and slow. I hope y'all's body parts are making some noises like mine. My hip is crunching every time. Take breaks as you need it. Take those legs out nice and long. Reach over your head if this gets to be too much. And last one. Let it go. Knees into the chest. Take that little break. Wiggle side to side. I'm getting ready to pretty much hit my dog on this next one. All right, guys. We're doing the corkscrew. So hands go under your old toes again. We're going to take those feet up nice and long. And I want you to tilt them over to the left side. So they're extended to the left. Now we're going to circle to the right. Circle to the right. Over circle. Come back and tilt up over to the right side. Now switch back to the left. And you go beyond straight and then go back the other way. You come to that center line and cross it and then flip the other way. That's your corkscrew. You have to control it. It goes over to that side. Try and keep your fanny on the floor. It's hard when you tilt to the other way. Focusing on keeping your fanny on the floor, just letting the legs go over. Let's do two more. One more each direction. And last one. Good. And release it. Guys, we're moving on the holly rock. Really tough move. It's going to work the whole floor. Y'all doing good? Grab water if you want it, guys. Grab you a little sip. I'm going to grab me a little sippy sip just because my mouth's drying out from running it. All right, guys. Oh, Robin got her hair down all long and luxurious. Hi, Shan. All right, guys. So with Holler Rock, you're going to extend it out nice and long. Arms are going to go over the head. All right, that's your holler rock. We're holding it for four, three, two, one. Now lift the legs to get you started. You're going to have a nice little rock for four, two, one. Hold, holler rock, hold it. Four, three, two, eyes on the ceiling. Let those legs get your rock started. Rock and chairs. Two, one. Hold, put your belly button in, squeeze your fanny. And rock, four, two, one. Last time, hold, hold, rock, hold it, hold it. Eyes on the ceiling. Let's get that rock started, go. Four, three, two, and collapse. Let the arms and legs both go down. Good job, y'all. All right, y'all, we're moving right into the frog crunch. I'll just show you your positioning so you know for this one. Let's get down a little bit. I don't think I go off the screen. So what we do, head is on the floor, hands are under your tush again. And you're just going to take those legs out, and you're going to do one, two, in, out, beat the heels. Join me, and beat the heels. We're going to add on to this, y'all. Give me two more like this, and you can stay right here if you want to stay right here. Otherwise, bring those knees in. Now take those hands and put them behind your head. All right, I want you to crunch up as you extend the legs. Lift your shoulders, lift your chest. And now one, two, bring it in, drop down, lift, heel, feet. Drop, lift, so now we've involved the upper abs again. Heel, tap. Come on, three more. Good, Shannon. Keep it up. Try not to pull on that head and neck. 
Last one. Hold it up. Head is up. Beat the heels for six. Five. Pull that belly in. Three, two, one. Release it. My air just kicked on, y'all. We're doing stuff now. Going into side bends. Side bends, you guys. So go ahead and lay it on your side. Bottom leg is bent. All right, we're going to be on that elbow. So on that elbow. We'll see up here. All right, so on that elbow, bottom leg bent. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to press up, reaching that arm over the head, and then we're just going to drop down, bringing that arm back down to our side. So we're just going to lift. Yeah, I know, y'all, this seems easy peasy, what we just went through. So take this nice little break and stretch, but it is still working those obliques. Lift. Love it. This is just giving you a little break before we go into teaser work. Good, two more. Last one. Hold it up for me. Hold it up. Push that hip up even higher. Extend and release it. Switch it up to the other side. We haven't got to our kneeling side kicks yet. That's our booger one this week. Or on Tuesdays, elbow under shoulder, bottom leg bent, hand on that thigh, and let's lift the down. Okay. You're not holding that breath, you're breathing where it feels natural, blowing that breath out as you do it. Inhale down, exhale. Give me two more, guys. And on this last one, let's hold it up. Rip it. Hold it up. Really reach, reach, reach. Lift the hips. Lift them as high as you can. Three, two, one, and relax. We're going to go into that teaser variation now. Everybody good? So good. Are you good? You breathing heavy, girl? I hope so. I am. <laughs> All right, guys, teaser variation. So feet are flat on the floor. You got that 45 degree right here and here. Roll the shoulders back, hands under the knees. We're going to start at the beginning. Then we're going to lean back to a nice flat back. All right. This is the this is level one. If you want it, you stay here. Otherwise, bring it up. Take it back. Release the hands. All right, level two. We're going to move right into level three, which is extending one leg. Drop that down, other leg. Good. Grab under those knees, pull yourself back up, open the hips a little bit, with the knees, in the chest, back down. Pick where you want to stay, hands, one foot, or this time both. You want both feet, pull your heels together, toes apart. You see that? Sorry for my dirty feet. All right. And what I want you to do we're going to lay the upper body down. Arms go over the head and we're going to bring it back up. All right, if you need to drop each foot to the feet for that, take the upper body down and bring it back up into that sit. Okay, so you can have the legs extended or the legs down one more time. Down and up. All right, and if you've still got your legs extended, let's go ahead and drop the legs and bring them back up. Or you can do one leg at a time. Legs can be bent, and you can do one foot at a time right here, just to practice. Or if you've got both feet up and want to try it, take them both down. Now everything is up here together, whether you're here or here, take everything down. Everything lays down, arms over the head, and everything pops back up. Everything pops back up. Give me two more, either with your feet on the ground, and just a V-sit, or with everything. Last one. Bring it up and release it. Drop those feet to the ground, heels to the ground, grab under your feet and pull your chest into your thighs. Take that little minute. Put your head between your knees like it's an earthquake drill. I shouldn't say those words the way the world's going with my, I don't even want to jinx this. No earthquakes. And let it go guys, we're going to our kneeling side kicks. 
So we're going to be on those knees. Hopefully your toes are released in the back. If you start to lose your balance, you're going to dig them under. Try and keep them nice and soft. Not like that. Like that. All right. So we're going to take our right arm, right arm, down to the ground, extend that left leg out. The right arm on the ground, the wrist is under the shoulder. Your hand can be on your hip, cross your belly, wherever you want it for comfort. We're just going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. Modification on this is you can always be down on the elbow and lift and lower out of the elbow just like this. So I'm showing that modification if you need it. Laying down on the elbow. Otherwise, your chest is facing out. Hold it. And we're going to crunch to the front. So we're going to crunch front and back. Bring it front and back. Modification on this, you can bend that knee and push it out. Otherwise, keep that leg relatively straight. I'm going to flex my foot. You don't have to do that or I will pick my entertainment center over here. Good. Last two. Last one. And let's put them together. Foot goes down, up. Crunch, down, up, and crunch. I feel like we're getting stronger on this one. I, I don't feel like it hurts as bad as it did the first week we did it. Or more. I'm not saying it's pleasant. It doesn't hurt as bad as it used to. Two more. Good. Last one. Good, and push down into that hip for just a second. Take that little break. We're going to push right back up. Same leg. It's going to be working. Don't switch sides yet. So we got to do our circles. We got to do our circles. On our last week of this, we're going to do it all at one time. Not even going to take a break. What? I know it's crazy, y'all. Bring it up. Bring it up. Same side. Reset yourself. Wrist under shoulder. Lift that leg up. And let's do those little circles. Hold it and reverse. Hold it, hold it, don't let it go anywhere and pulse up. Eight, seven, six. And let it go. Switch it up, guys. Switch it up to the other side. What? Roll that little wrist. All right, here we go. Press it up. And no, it doesn't matter which way your little pinky fingers are pointed. That's your comfort level. All right. Open the chest. Open the chest to the front. Hand is where you want it. Lift and lower. And yes, you're going to feel this one a whole lot faster. Three. Two, hold it up at the top, crunch forward and back. Forward, good, and back. Keep going. Just want to see Miss Shannon. Good, good. Keep going, girl. You got that heavy tennis shoe on. Good, last one. And let's put it together. Down to the ground, lift and crunch. Down, up, and crunch. Halfway. Come on, we've got this. Last two. Last one. Good. Drop into that hip for a second. Push into it. I know I feel it too, y'all. We've got our circles and our pulses, and then we're done with this. We get to do plow. Woo! All right. Y'all ready? Push it back. Wrist under shoulder. Belly button's inched in tight. Everything's tight. Lift it up and give me those circles. And reverse. And hold it. Hold it and pull it up. And you have eight, seven, six. Three, two, one. Ugh! Let it go, y'all. Fall into that little hip. Take that little break. And we're going to go into plow. I'll start with the um, 
beginner level, and then we'll grow from there. You can stay wherever you want to with plow. So with plow, you're gonna start with the legs nice and far apart, like this, all right? Just sit sideways, nice and far apart. You're gonna reach between those legs, taking that great stretch right there. And then you're just gonna lay back, pull those knees into the chest. Reach forward and back. So the legs are bent in the first level of this. The progression on this, straighten the legs, straighten the legs. They come over your chest. And if you wanna try that, your legs are straight at the bottom too. Try and straighten them at the bottom too, Shana. There you go, reach between, there you go. Keep it going. I wanna watch out a few on these. So you keep it the level you wanna keep it at. When you go over your chest, bring your legs together, Lauren. Bring the legs together when you go over your chest. So when you go over your chest, there you go. Good, good, keep it going. Give me two more, y'all. This one's too awesome not to do lots of, it's fun. Give me one more. Sweet Caroline, flip it over. Lay it on those bellies, guys. Here's the good stuff. We went through some stuff faster because we had technical difficulty at the bottom. I mean, at the top of the air. But hopefully we still got a little workout in. I want you to take one foot back and grab that little touch. See, stretching out that quad from those tear pulses earlier. I think that's down. I don't think y'all can see my dog, but he's definitely in down dog position. Just a different one than we do. And switch it up to that other foot. And guys, if you have that flexibility, go ahead and grab both feet. If you don't, just do one foot then the other. And if you're even more flexible still, I am not very flexible. You can go ahead and lift up, lift the chest, press those hands into your feet and try and lift up. And then relax it back down, pull those heels to your tailbone or your tushy one more time. And then release it. Hands go by your chest, pelvis into the mat, Press up, take that big stretch. All the way up with the soft elbow, shoulders out of the ears. Good, big inhale. Exhale down. Give me an inhale here at the bottom. Exhale, push up. Good, fill the lungs again, inhale. Exhale, lay down. Good, let's sit it up. Up on the standies, guys. Actually, I lied to you. Let's do a couple of cat and cows because we did reverse plank and all those plank walkouts. And let's stretch out our backs a little bit more. So knees under hips, wrists under shoulders. Release the toes and pull it up into cat. Rounding out that back, looking at the thighs. And then into cow, looking at the ceiling. And you just go right back and forth between those as quickly or as slowly as you want. And if one of them feels really good, just hold that one. Good. Now go ahead and push over to the left hip. Push over to that left hip. And then push over to that, that right hip. Good. Now you can bring it up onto your little thing. All right, we're gonna go for that inner thigh stretch where we do those plie squats. So a little peanut butter, a little jelly on those tootsies. Pull them as close to your body as you can get them. Your chest is up high, your belly's pulled in. Try and push those knees to the floor without touching. All right. Y'all did great. Shove those little legs out a little further. Hands to ankles, elbows to the inside of the knees. Back is still flat. Gently press down on those knees as you reach your flat back and your chest towards your feet. You should feel a good stretch in those hips, just gentle pressure on those knees. Oh my. And now round that back out, drop that head. Still giving that pressure to those knees. Good, now sitting it up. Take one leg out long, the other is bent, cross over. And whatever leg is bent, look over that shoulder. You're gonna grab that hand, there you go. Look over the shoulder of that bent leg, beautiful. Gentle pull on that knee for some extra stretch in that hip. 
I gotta be honest with y'all right now, I've had a lot of water today and Pelican came to my neighborhood. And so right now, squeezing real hard on my belly, not working out for me. And he's gotta tinkle a little bit. That's something y'all didn't need to know. Appreciate that on YouTube later. Switch it up. Other side. I mean, this feels good, but it also feels like, you know, All right, y'all, let's do those nice little mermaid stretches. Let's sneak in a little more oblique work. Bottom foot is bent into your body. Back foot is out. All right, you're going to grab that back ankle and reach over. So we're grabbing that back ankle, taking that arm, reaching over, feeling that big stretch up our sides. And now drop that other arm to the ground, elbow goes to the ground, and let that other arm just collapse over the top of your head nice and relaxed. And switch it up. And back down. Starting to look towards May, y'all. So if there's a body part in your core that you really want to work on, hit me with it. And I'll put it in the new May workouts. And bring it up and switch those legs. If you want more inner thighs, tell me more inner thighs. All right, y'all. Grab that ankle. Reach it over. You want more... Muffin tops, we can do that too. And other way, elbow to the ground, arm over the head. Or and switch it up one last time. Oh, mama. That's where it is right there. And back down to the ground. Now bring it up. Give me a little crisscross of sauce business. Give me a big old inhale and shrug those shoulders up. I don't know. Drop. Again, inhale, bring it up. Hold your breath here. Pull those shoulders back. Let that breath go and the shoulders drop. And clap for yourselves. Good job, y'all. Unmute yourself so I can hear you real quick. Sorry I sped through.